Hello, I'm David Bogle. I'm one of the new product development engineers at Intralux. I've been with Intralux for almost 30 years now in various new product development roles. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a new, exciting, very small transfer, small pitch belt that Intralux has developed, our new tight transfer series 560 product. Many of you may know that Intralux already has a small pitch tight transfer belt. We call it our series 550. And today it's been available for five or 10 years in an acetal material and in a flat top type surface only. The problem with that belt is it doesn't always work long term as well as Intralox or the customers would like it. Our end users and our OEM customers often tell us that you know, they're using our products on 95, 98% of the equipment, but they get to this one little piece of a tight transfer or a transfer conveyor, and Intralux products are just not the right product for them. So they have to get out a different catalog or contact a different supplier. And even though it is a very small product, if one part of your product line goes down, the whole line goes down. So these OEMs and end users both asked us to develop a product to fill in this hole in our current product line. Where are these belts used? Like I mentioned, it's typically where you need a very small transfer, whether that be a small cookie or a muffin or a container or a package to where you really want to have extremely delicate product handling in your line. One of the most important new features of the new Series 560 tight transfer belt is how the sprocket and the belt interact with each other. These very small pitch belts are very tough on sprockets because they typically are moving very fast uh, and have a very short distance to go for the total conveyor length. With any sort of sprocket issue adds up very quickly and even though it's a small conveyor, big problems can happen. With the new 560 series, we developed two different belt styles. So we developed a traditional closed flat top belt and a open flush grid style. Historically, we've only had a flat top style, which is fine, but in today's cooling lines where every moment counts for extra cooling time in a bakery or for cleaning when it comes to cleanup time, we wanted to have both surfaces available to give maximum flexibility to the customers. Not only did we create different surfaces, we've added multiple materials to the product line. Acetal, a main staple in most conveying industries, is still fine for many applications, but in the higher temperature or abrasive applications, we have a high temperature material called Elmar. This is also in a blue color, which is typically preferred in most food industry type applications for easy visibility. We are also experimenting with a material we call PK as an additional material for very high hygiene applications, particularly in the meat and poultry type segments. This belt is twice the strength of our pre-existing Series 550 product and is the strongest tight transfer food grade belt on the market today. With this new product, it is very easy to upgrade or change from an existing tight transfer belt. If you have a Series 550 from Intralox, it's just really a change the sprockets and go back to work. Intralox offers sprocket sizes for all of the standard Intralox sprocket sizes and competitor sprocket sizes, so it's a very quick changeover. In one particular case, we changed the customer's line over in well under an hour, and this was a relatively long belt. It was a 20 foot long, four foot wide belt, and it's a very quick job to do. We have several test sites going for the 560 product line. This is very typical for any new product development we do. So far, 100% of them have been extremely satisfied. In one particular case, this was an end user. They were experiencing downtime, not on a daily basis, but they knew every month to every two months they needed to do significant maintenance to keep the line running. Four months ago, we put in a new uh, high temperature, Elmar material belt, and the line has run just perfectly ever since. So they've already forgotten about this conveyor. Go out, notice where you have maybe stranded product, damaged product, product that's turning over or getting disoriented at transfer. Any of these would be great applications for the new Intralock Series 560 tight transfer belt. Let's go out together and see where this might fit. This is a typical end off, end on type transfer. You can see with this particular container type product, going across this particular transfer, you're going to drop cans or lose containers. Then you can see the very big difference between the smaller pitch tighter transfer as to what you have today.
I encourage you to go to intralox.com for more information.